Hello traders, FS Pipglatti here. Today is Friday, July 28th, and I'm going to be analyzing gold versus the dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. So, on gold versus the dollar, I still think this move down is a crescent, and I still believe price is going to continue up. I think it's going to break out of these highs. I believe it's going to go up to maybe even all the way up to the $2,200 area, and maybe even further than that. This may be a wave five, but it also may be like a subdivision of a much larger uptrend. So let's take it down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, I still believe this is an ABC, which is a crescent to this last move up. I think that we already have the end of a crescent, and I think that anything we see to the downside on the sort of time frames is just going to be a subdivision of an uptrend that is already in play. So let's take it down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame is where you can actually see the A, the crescent for the B, and the C. Nice and positive up. Looks like a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, probably a 1 of the new uptrend. I think this is an ABC, probably a 2 of the new uptrend. I think there's a very good likelihood at one of these Fibonacci levels it's going to end the crescent and continue up for a wave 3. And probably even go up and break this high right here, which this line represents all-time highs. So let's head down to the 4-hour time frame. 4-hour time frame, I definitely see a downtrend here. Looks like a wave A. I think this move up is probably a B. I still think this move down is a wave C. Some of the other dollar pairs look like they may potentially be turning, but this kind of looks like it needs to go down again, maybe even to the 50. Who knows, it could even go down to one of these lower fibs to finish off a wave C. But I do think there is a very good possibility that it could turn at one of these higher two Fibonacci levels, maybe break structure to the upside, proving that the wave C really is over and continuing the uptrend from there. So taking it down to the one hour time frame. So one hour time frame on the sort of time frames it is kind of convincing that this is like a one two three four five and that this is a break of struts at potentially the end of a wave C. This looks like a three way pattern down like a cretin. Honestly it kind of looks like this is the end of a cretin and it potentially looks like it could continue the uptrend. Now on the higher time frames it looks more like an ABC and that it's going to go down again. So definitely be careful if you do end up going long and you see it go up take out this high and then turn back down impulsively then definitely exit your longs and go short because at that point it would probably go down to one of these lower fib levels but if you do go long and it just keeps on making higher highs higher lows then definitely hold on to that long because i do think that this possibly is getting very close to ending an abc cuts in so we just have to pay attention to price action to see if it comes up makes a double top and goes down or if it just keeps on making higher highs and higher lows so don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.